This is part 4 of our Next.js React Movies app um, and quickly to recap what we did in part 3 is that we created um, environmental variables and stored them. Um, so it, we stored them in this .env file and then we import them, imported them in Next that config.js. Um, this is like a regular Node.js module, it's not a JSON file, and it gets used by Next.js server, and it's also used in build faces, but it is not included in the browser build. So do, if you want to understand uh, why we have several types of configurations here, you can go back to part three. But in this part, we're gonna go on and use these variables to fetch data from the API and display it into our app. So now let's go to index.js uh, file and we're gonna try to import these configurations. For that we need the next.js module, get config. And we have two types of variables, the server uh, runtime one and the public runtime, so we're gonna import them both here just in case what we're gonna do is we're gonna update our functional component um, to initially load data so when we load the page we want data to also like be fetched and this could be done by get server time props um, and we're gonna take a look at get server side pro uh, props before the page is loaded. It would pre-render uh, whatever's inside here, but as I said, usually it's used to fetch data. So um, we can copy this from here and we can add it at the end of the page. And as, so this props will be whatever is inside here would be passed to all the um, functional components. So in this case, the props would be the initial data that the component is getting. So let's update this to fetch our data. On page loads, we're gonna load what movies are trending. And here we're gonna pass our API URL which is in their documentation and we're gonna use the variable here that we imported for our, our config file. And the name of the API key was the variable API key. We're gonna wait for the results to load. And then we're gonna pass uh, the results to props and name the same thing like trending movies. You can name this um, anything else, just make sure when you're using it initial data that the name of the variable, it has to match. I'm gonna print out this data just to make sure it's working. So if you reload your page now um, and open up your terminal, so let's reload this. You should be able to see the data that's coming back from the API that are available to us. Uh, what we can do next is create a component to display each movie and we're going to use this as a reference to know what to display. So for components, I'm going to go create a um, source file folder. And inside source folder, I'll create a new folder named components. I'll name my component uh, movie.js or it could be movie card as well. So create constant here we pass the arguments so from here we are going to let's see 
peak um, title. The names don't have to match because um, we're gonna pass the variables in the order. So let's do title, let's do index, overview, which is like a description of the movie and poster path on to display the image. For the images, the movie database has a separate like uh, images API URL. So we're going to use that and we're going to paste it in here. It's also a part of their documentation. That's where I got it from. And now we're going to return the component. So let's build the component now. Name it movie. And since we're displaying multiple movies on the page, we, every movie needs to have a key and this key needs to be um, indexed, otherwise we are going to get a warning. So as a header, let's display the title. Then we're going to go with the image. Source would be the API and the poster path. And alt text would be the title of the movie. And now let's include the description. Oh, and then we need to export this component. All right, we'll go back to index page and we're going to import the component here. All right, so for us to be able to use this initial data and then pass it, uh, wrap it in a, this component and display it on the index page. We will need to create that state and then update it using hooks. So let's create the state now. I'm naming search results because later on we're going to use the same state to store um, the results of the search once we build out the search functionality. So this is initially empty array and then when the data gets loaded we're gonna set it um, to search results using use effect and use the hook so initial data and we passed the prompts we named it trending movies and if you see the when it's uh, when we return the data, it has well, that's a lot of data. So in here, it has this like value result. So we're gonna get the results array. And this would be set as like a initial default value. Once we do that, we can now use our movies to component to display the results. Oh, we always need to, in Next.js, we always need to import um, use state and use effect at the top. So that's why I got this error here. All right, so now it's good. Let's start uh, mapping this movie components here. Create a new div. And then we're gonna take the search results and map it. So we're gonna get the index. And we're gonna return the movie component. Oops. 
And as you remember, we need to pass parameters to Moby. So we had index, which is going to equal to the same index as here. Title would be the movie title. Yeah, so we have a title index. I guess we could even make it we should actually make it the ID because the ID is unique and in case the array order gets updated so let's say if um, second element gets removed from the array but then the index would still be second of the next one so it would um, confuse the way it's printed so let's just use ID and then poster path is Oh, it's same as like poster path and overview is also named overview in here. All right, let's see. Oh, we're missing another. Oops. about that all right see our movies are displayed here um, the next thing we're going to do is update the styling oh, I just saw this one I really liked it search functionality and also update the styling of this um, thank you for watching see you in part 5